reason most students struggle in plain question is number one, they do not know how to form the tri invincible triangle. Number two, they do not know that the most important thing of a plane is the normal. Okay, and number three, they do not know how to observe to get a point. Okay, on the plane, these three skills are super important in this question. There is many information that's given in this question. A point A has a position vector of 1, 2, 3. There is a line that has a point and a direction vector, and there is a plane R dot. If at this moment you don't know that this is the normal, I suggest you go and read through your notes again. Okay, now find the length of the perpendicular from A to pi. Okay, to pi, this is a plane. The most important of a plane is the normal. So this normal has the vector of negative 1, 2, 2. The question is asking for if the point a, which is here, 1, 2, 3, to the distance of this point to pi, okay? Now, and it's also a perpendicular distance. How do we form the right angle triangle? We need a point on the plane. Do we have a point on the plane? We do not have. Because if I can make a point on the plane, this would means it's the invincible triangle again, which, mean, which is now why you need to know skill number three. You need to observe what is a point that lies on the plane. What is the equation of the plane? R dot negative 1, 2, 2 equals to 2. Okay, this is the constant that is A dot M, which means a point dot the normal must give you equals to 2. Okay, we can just say that observe that very simple. Now think of 3 x, y, z that can, when you dot together with negative 1, 2, 2, that will form 2. The easiest would be if 0, 1, 0, because I want 2. I know the normal is negative 1, 2, 2. I only want these two. So I can let the x and z be 0. You recur moment. Suddenly, all you realize that you, you didn't know this fact. Okay? When we dot together, that will form 2, right? Yeah. 0, 1, 0 lies on the plane. Okay? You can also use 0, 0, 1. It also lies on the plane. Alright? Any others could also be, but it will be more a lot more complicated. These two are the easiest ones. 0, 1, 0, or you could use 0, 0, 1. These two, when you dot with the normal, it will give you two. We have a point now. So I'm going to zoom in over here. This would be 0, 1, 0. Okay? Recall your projection. So this is where it's a bit counterintuitive because when we do projection, it always looks like this. The diagram in all of your notes will look like this. This will be A. This will be B. Right? Okay? This is the direction of here. And we know that, oh, this guy is A cross unit vector of B. Okay, this guy would be A dot unit vector of B. Okay, the A will always be the hypotenuse. Okay, so these are the two that is all in your notes as well as it's also in my notes. But if you look at this diagram over here, the most important thing is the cons is the normal. The normal will be your B. Where is A? A is the hypotenuse, which is why we need a point here. This guy is A. Okay, so all you need to do right now is just to apply the formula. So even though they say perpendicular distance, I know that in your notes over here, when we look at perpendicular distance, we are probably looking at this. But it's because in the plane, we are using the normal. Everything becomes the opposite. You have you cannot just memorize the formula and oh, look at perpendicular, you are going to use A cross B cap to find the perpendicular distance. No, in because in the plane, the plane is useless. It is the normal that helps you find all the answers. Okay, so what are we looking for? Now, for the sake of this, I'm going to label this P and I'm going to label this Q. Okay, first I need to find out what is PA, which is 1, 2, 3, OA minus OP, 0, 1, 0. That would give me 1, 1, 3. Okay, and that would be my A. So if you cannot visualize, if you have remembered this triangle, but you are unable to visualize it with respect to this, okay, remember to label the hypotenuse as A. Okay, next one, I know that B, my B is AQ, which is actually just take the direction vector of the normal that would be fine. So this guy is my B. So the length of the perpendicular would be equals to the modulus of A dot B hat. Okay, you can write this, that is totally fine. That would be 113 dot negative 122 over the magnitude of 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square. And you will get your answer to be minus 1 plus 2 plus 6 over square root of 9 over 3. And that will be 7 over 3 square units. Okay? Again, like I say, 
throughout this whole video series just need to form into this invincible triangle understand which one are you looking for projection or, or the opposite side or the adjacent side okay and you can solve everything for part two we are talking about the perpendicular of the line to a point so again we only need to draw it correctly and form the invincible triangle i have one four negative one down here i have the direction down here which is one minus one one i have the point a which is one two and three now let's label this point c okay and now you realize i can form the right angle triangle okay if you remember question five in the straight lines tutorial where you are supposed to find s first uh, that is where we use that method we let os that satisfy the equation of the line okay in this case the question did not ask for os so it's important that you relate it to this triangle again the projection triangle okay the hypotenuse is always a this is b what is the question asking for the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular distance is a cross b hat all right now a is ac all we need to do is to find the vector of ac that would be one two three minus one four negative one equals to zero negative two four if you look at back at this triangle you want to find the perpendicular distance it means a cross the unit vector of b what is b b is just the direction vector of the line which is something that students do not know how to use students did not realize okay so for the perpendicular distance it's just going to be the magnitude of a cross magnitude of a cross the unit vector of b that would be zero negative two four cross the unit vector of b one negative one one be careful don't careless students always careless over here square root of one square plus one square plus one square don't forget to divide by the magnitude of b because that's the unit vector okay do your cross product properly you need to have the magnitude on top still over not below is root three uh, cover the first row cross the second row use your calculator that will be two cover the second row that will be four cover the third row that will be two okay in this case always take out the two to make it simple for you okay make one two one over root three i will have two over root three and the magnitude of one two one will be square root of one square plus two square plus one square that would be two over root three multiply by four five six six um, then final answer is square root six over root three that we would two two root two units and that is the length of the perpendicular from a to l just need to understand how to form it to a right angle triangle and know which one to use okay the last part part three i want to remind you that uh, if you remember to find the angle between two lines d1 d2 that would be cosine theta equals to d1 hat dot d2 hat okay the unit vector of d1 dot d2 okay okay but when it comes to line and plane so this is the line okay this is the plane okay the question is asking for what is the angle between the line and plane Remember just now at the start of the video, I said that the plane is useless. Only the normal vector, the normal of the plane is useful. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate two methods, two methods, okay, for you to use to find the angle between line and plane. Okay, so the line, the normal vector negative one, two, two. The direction vector of the line would be one minus one, one. Okay, yeah. So if you are going to use a very convention method that will be first oh instead of finding lambda theta i cannot find theta i can find alpha i use the formula cosine alpha is equals to d1 hat dot d2 hat which is one minus one dot negative one two two over the magnitude of each two four okay so now i do the dot on top remember to modulus the whole thing this will be three root three this will be minus one minus two plus 2 modulus okay 1 over 3 root 3 that will be cosine alpha so i can say that alpha is equal to the inverse cosine of 1 over 3 root 3 use your calculator and you are going to get 78.9 but that is not what you're looking for therefore the angle between the plane and the line is 70 90 minus 78.9 which is going to be equals to 11.1 degrees okay this is one method i recommend so you only need to remember that the angle between two lines is cosine theta equals to d1 hat dot d2 hat okay if you are somebody that will just remember formula then cosine alpha you have to be strong in this alpha is 90 minus theta isn't it so look at here over here this way is 90 minus theta 
okay, alpha is 90 minus theta. So cosine of 90 minus theta is equals to d1 hat dot d2 hat. But this guy, if you're very strong in your trigo identities, is cos sine theta equals to, you will still get the same thing, 1 over 3 root 3 for this, because we have already worked out. Then you inverse sine the answer, you will still get 11.1. Okay, so important part about planes is the plane is usually useless. You have to use the normal. Next is be able to identify a point that is on the plane that is easy to dot to get the constant. Okay, and of course, I say again, the invincible triangle. Once you are able to draw the invincible triangle, you will know how to use the invincible triangle to get what you need.